Good evening and welcome to Friday Evening Prayer. My name's Scott Dully and I'm the parish priest here at St. Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Dully, parish priest at St. Mary's at Maitland and St. Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We're praying this evening on Wanarua country and our family pays its respects to elders past and present. Friday Evening Prayer can be found on page 416 of A Prayer Book for Australia. There are two Psalms set for this evening, Psalm 75 and 76, and they begin on page 299 of the prayer book. Peace to those who are far off. Peace to those who are near. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We say the opening canticle, the Lord's servant, together. He was despised, he was rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, as one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the torments he endured. While we thought he was being punished, struck by God and brought low, he was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. We had all strayed like sheep, all taking our own way, but the Lord laid on him the guilt of us all. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 75 on page 299 of the prayer book. We'll say the psalm this evening by alternate verses. We give you thanks, O God. We give you thanks. We call upon your name and tell of all the wonders you have done. I will surely appoint a time when I, the Lord, will judge with equity. Though the earth shake and all who dwell in it, it is I that have founded its pillars. I will say to the boasters, boast no more, and to the wicked, do not flaunt your horns. Do not flaunt your horns so high, or speak so proud and stiff-necked. For there is none from the east or from the west, or from the wilderness who can raise up but it is God who is judge, who puts down one and exalts another. For there is a cup in the Lord's hand and the wine foams and it is richly mixed. He gives it in turn to each of the wicked of the earth. They drink it and drain it to the dregs. But I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. I will glorify his name forever. All the horns of the wicked I will break, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted high. In Psalm 76. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. At Salem, in his tabernacle, and his dwelling is in Zion. There he broke in pieces the flashing arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of battle. Radiant in light are you, greater in mystery, majesty than the eternal hills. The valiant were dumbfounded. They sleep their sleep and all the warriors have lost their strength. At the blast of your voice, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot were cast asleep. Terrible are you, Lord God, and who may stand before you when you are angry? You caused your sentence to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and it was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth. For you crushed human wrath. You bridled the remnant of the wrathful. You make vows to the Lord your God and keep them. Let all around him bring gifts to him that is worthy to be feared. For he cuts down the fury of princes and he is terrible to the kings of the earth. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, cleanse us from all hypocrisy, unite us to one another in the bonds of peace and love, 
and confirm us in holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading this evening is from the letter of Paul to the Colossians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Jesus. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness in him, who is the head of every ruler and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a spiritual circumcision by putting off the body of the flesh in the circumcision of Christ. When you were buried with him in baptism, you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And when you were dead in trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive together with him when he forgave us all our trespasses, erasing the record that stood against us with its legal demands. He set this aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and made a public example of them, triumphing over them. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We say the canticle, a song to the Lamb together. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests, serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant us such a measure of your grace that running in the way of your commandments, we may obtain your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we come to the end of this day, the first day of October, we reflect on the day as it has been and we offer to God all that we have experienced and known this day. So let us pray. Gracious God, we hold before you all peoples of the world, the many situations in our nation and in our world that are distressing for people, where people are hurt and injured. We bring these things before you now. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We bring before you our holy church. We give thanks for leaders of churches throughout the world, in our own country and in this diocese. We hold before you the communities of faith which we belong to and our brothers and sisters of other faiths and other denominations. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we hold before you the first peoples of our nation. 
We pray for reconciliation and justice. We pray that you open our hearts and minds to show us ways to work in collaboration with those who have cared for this land for so long. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we hold before you this night those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we hold before you and give thanks for those who have gone before us, holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as an example and inspiration to us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Finally, Father, we bring before you ourselves, our loved ones, the communities of which we are a part of. With all of our joys and sorrows, with all the things that create anxiety within us and all the things for which we would give thanks this night. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we, we may by your, your grace receive. Through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, restore, establish and strengthen us. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have a pleasant evening and a wonderful weekend. Good night.